Welcome to Pierre's Learning Corner. Kids, welcome to Pierre's Learning Corner. Don't feel blue. Instead, we're going to learn about the color purple. What even is purple? Purple is what you get when you mix red and you take a little blue, you put them together, and that's how you make purple. In Roman times, purple was the color of royalty. Can you think of something that's purple? Mmm, what about eggplants? Are those purple? Yep, those eggplants sure are purple. Yummy plums, are those purple? Yes, they are. What about the sky at nighttime? Is that purple? No. The night sky is black. Purple is the last color in the rainbow. Look, there it is, right at the bottom. En français, in French, the word for purple is violet avec moi. Violet avec moi. Violet. In Spanish, it's morado conmigo. Morado conmigo. Uno más. Morado. In the practice of. In American Sign Language, practice like this. Congratulations! You're the president of purple, the victor of violet. So let's apply your new knowledge with a little craft. The craft is going to teach fine motor skills, shape recognition, and patience. It's a very fun craft and one of my favorites. Today's craft is a watercolor glue flower. So what you're going to need is cardstock, some watercolor paints, a red cup, and a paintbrush. Start by taking our water and put it in our cup. That's how we're going to clean our brushes. And we'll take our paper, tear it off, so that we can make our craft. So let's take our, so let's take our glue and what you want to do here is usually you're not allowed to play with glue but here we're going to make an exception we're going to begin drawing our flower now my glue here is a little big for little ones so you're going to want to either get a smaller bottle or help guide their hands so we're going to draw the flower it doesn't have to be perfect but Make sure to get it nice and bold so that when it dries, it stays looking like a flower. Let's draw a little hill so that the flower can be on it. Let it dry. And now that it's dry, let's start painting. So first, wet the paper. Get it all nice and wet. Start by just putting regular water all over the paper. Get water all over the paper until it's nice and wet. Once it's wet, start with the red paint. If the little ones have trouble holding it, you can show them how to hold it with the uh, outside fingers and the thumb, or make sure they use a big brush like this one so that they can grip it with their whole hands. Don't worry if the colors go outside the lines. That's why we're using watercolors, because it doesn't matter if they go outside the lines. And for the purpose of this project, we want the colors to go outside the lines. That's actually part of the trick. So make sure you get about half of it colored in with red here. All will be revealed shortly. Keep watching, keep watching. Now we're gonna get the blue. So start with getting the blue about in the middle here where we had the red. Keep on getting the blue everywhere. 
onto the other corner of the paper, keep getting it in the middle where we had the red, and try to blend them together. Now, let them blend in the middle to make purple. Now that we're all done, you can see that it goes from red to purple to blue. Red to purple to blue. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I've said my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And I can't wait to sing you again. Next time on Pierre's Learning Corner. Thank you so much, and you have been a pleasure. Well, that's all for today. Please join us next week for another exciting episode.